just imagine like a very dry vagina and trying to shove something up there and pull it out. Impossible. Hey guys, so for today, we're just gonna do something random. I'm between shifts right now. I work a split shift, if you guys don't know. And I got nothing better to do, so I thought that I would just film. So like, I feel like, I don't feel that much better than that video of me crying. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But like, it, it's, it's fine, you know? Like, it's gonna be fine. God, why? Don't you just hate when you just, you choose to be ugly? Like, why did I do that? Who put this together today? Oh, oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. So my, not the last video, but the video before that, I was wearing a green hat, look like this. That's the beanie I was talking about in my pumpkin carving video. I was saying how there was like a hat at Tractor Supply and I was like, oh, I didn't even get it, blah, blah, blah. Cause that a whole car incident. Anyway, that's that hat. Oh, actually here it is. have like that normal spending problem that most people have like I can convince myself that I don't need food to survive however there's a few things that I can easily spend money on one of them being hats another one is chapstick like I literally have three chapsticks in here I don't need three <laughs> anyway I'm really upset over this chapstick I have it's Carmex right and like I love Carmex but like this is a different kind so I thought like oh I'm excited it sucks it's like, the consistency is nothing like Carmex at all. And like, it's just, ugh. Like, look at it. Look at that. There's literally like hair on it. <laughs> Soft lips. I used to use, you guys don't care. <laughs> But if you ever want a chapstick haul, I can hook you up. I have a million chapstick. If you ever need some chapstick recommendations, I got you. Speaking of my life, well, I wasn't, but I'm going to now. Today, I was like, I should go Christmas shopping because I'm going with my friend Lucian. We are going to visit Megan and Bobby. Long story short, you guys know Megan's my best friend. She's getting married to Bobby, who is also one of my best friends. And Bobby's best friend is Lucian, and Lucian's also my best friend, and anyway, I'm Megan's maid of honor. Lucian is Bobby's best man. So me and Lucian, we're just gonna go visit them in Maryland. That's not why we're visiting them, we're just visiting them because we like them, you know. Anyway, so I wanted to go Christmas shopping today because me and Megan do this thing, well we just started it last year, but we want to start this thing where... Um, we get a stocking and we fill it and that's like what we're gonna do for Christmas instead of getting like expensive things, you know? Anyway, I was gonna go shopping today and do like a good majority of that because I haven't filled the stocking yet and I got like two weeks to do it and I decided not to because <laughs> I'm lazy and I also just kind of spent a lot of money last night. I'm talking- okay. I spent a lot of money last night because now I've been holding off on this for a while but I need new work shoes and I need new work pants. Since I've been working at this job I lost like 30 pounds. Not even like- I've lost 30 pounds so none of my pants fit me. Not only that, but some of the pants that like semi fit me have holes in them or the pants that I'm wearing right now has like a bleach stain in it because of some of the stuff that we use at work. So I could really use pants. So I went online, I bought a pair of pants, which was fine, but I needed shoes and that's where, you know, it was bad because like, I'm not the type of person, like I'll buy, like I'll, I'll buy cheap stuff, doesn't matter what. But when it comes to shoes, I don't buy cheap shoes. <laughs> I've never done this. I've never worn out shoes in my entire life because I'm the type of person that's got like 50 pairs of shoes. Like I don't wear my shoes that often because of how many I have that they never get worn out. Well, I wear the same pair of shoes every day at work because we have to wear black shoes. And my only other options of black shoes besides my Nikes I have are Converse and Converse just aren't comfortable enough for work, which is why I stuck with the Nikes. Anyway, a hole in it and like this and like, I needed new shoes. Anyway, the shoes were like close to like 70 bucks. So in total, I spent like almost a hundred dollars last night. So I didn't want to go and shop today because of how much I spent last night. So anyway, I decided to just go to Sheets today as if I wouldn't have done that anyway. But I went to Sheets today and I was going to get my food. The girl that was working at the cash register, she was like, flirting with me. She asked for my number, right? And like, I didn't know what to do. Before I could even answer when she asked for my number, 
she was working with this other girl. And the other girl was like, no, like I was going to ask her for my number. And I was like, wait, I got two girls fighting over me right now. It was weird. And I just kind of giggled and like walked away. <laughs> Cause like, I didn't know what else to do. But like, to be fair, if it was two guys, I probably would have done the same thing. So in conclusion, it was awkward. But also last night I met my future husband. So like I was working and... <laughs> I was getting like trash bags for like the room I was working in and he passes by and he's like, hey, how are you? And I was like, good, how are you? And he was like, good. And like, you know, obviously that meant he wanted to marry me. So like wedding coming soon. Anyway, going back to girls. So let's talk about vaginas. And if you don't want to talk about vaginas, you should probably click off because this is going to be like totally TMI. I mean, like, I don't think it's TMI, but like seeing as the majority of the people that watch my videos are guys, they probably won't want to know this. Or maybe they will. I don't know. But if you don't want to know about my vagina, you should probably click off. Last week, I had my period, right? I, I told you, you can click off now. <laughs> I usually switch back and forth between tampons and pads. So this thing happened where... Now, this has only happened once in my life. First time I ever, like... I think I got my period when I was, like, 13, I think? Now, when I first got my period, I, like, only wore pads. And then I remember the first time that I wanted to try a tampon. It didn't go well. But here's the thing. If you have your period right and you wear a tampon you gotta make sure that your period is like fully there because like sometimes when like you start your period it's like very light to the point where like you probably shouldn't be wearing a tampon because if you wear a tampon and your period is not fully there like it's gonna hurt to like not only insert it but like pull it out like it needs to be <laughs> wet down there <laughs> It's the truth because like just imagine like a very dry vagina and trying to shove something up there and pull it out impossible these are things that like you should be told you're even having sex for the first time like things need to be wet <laughs> So the first time that I tried a tampon, like, I clearly it didn't go well. And it was very difficult to get my tampon out, okay? Now, I've never had this issue since that day because obviously, like, I'm a pro now. Like, I've had my period for years. Now, my periods are usually just heavy. Like, I just, I'm probably dying, but, like, it's fine. So this is never an issue for me. But it was an issue the other day. I'm terrified of, like, toxic shock syndrome because, like, you can get that by either wearing a tampon for too long or changing it too often. Basically, you can die, like... <sighs> Tampons just aren't safe. I don't know why, but, like, my tampon just didn't want to come out. And, like, I panicked for, like, a minute, and I was like, it's gonna be fine because, like, your period is really heavy. Like, this thing should slip out any... No, it wasn't coming out. Like, I literally thought, like, this is it. Like, this tampon is gonna be stuck in me forever. Like, what am I gonna do? I started to panic a little bit. So I was like, okay, let me sit here for a minute. Let me just calm down because... If I don't, like, calm down, I'm not gonna be able to get it out. Like, I'm gonna be too, like, tense and, like, stressed out, and it's just, it's gonna make it worse. So I was like, okay, it's gonna be fine. And guess what? It didn't come out again. And then I started to panic even more, and I was like, oh my god. So then I started Googling. <laughs> what are the reasons that this tampon could be stuck right now? So I started reading some things. I was like, oh, well, like, it could be caught on this, or this can be this. And I was like, oh my god, like, this tampon is gonna be stuck in me forever and then finally i was just like i mean people give birth so like they go through this kind of pain like when they give birth so like you just gotta have to suck it up and just pull until it eventually comes out and i did and it was painful and honestly my vagina was sore for a while but anyway it's fine now that's how my life has been going i guess at least i'm not pregnant <sighs> this lady's looking at me just stop judging me like it's fine just let me talk to myself she's still staring at me it's fine. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how that's... Sorry, my coworker, my favorite one, actually. Lucian needs to send me song suggestions because I'm going to DJ for our way to... Lucian's going to drive to Maryland. Um, he didn't really volunteer. I kind of just told him he was. But, like, it's fine. I think he's cool with it. <laughs> I'm going to DJ, and I want to make sure that some of the songs I'm playing are songs that he likes, too. I think our jams kind of overlap, so, like... It'll probably be fine. All right, I think I've been rambling for way too long, so we're gonna cut the video here. If you enjoyed 
this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm doing my best uploading every Monday. Appreciate you guys for still sticking around, even though we lost one subscriber, but like it's fine. But like I also have always said, like if you're not a fan of my videos, you can unsubscribe. So I guess they listened this time, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I've been doing it for 30 minutes now. So let's see how short I can make this video. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Some days things just take way too much of my energy. I look up and the whole world's spinning. You take my cares on.